Hey guys, it is Flaming Pringle, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. And last episode, we went through the Goldenrod Gym, but we did not battle Whitney yet. And also, inside the gym, Togepi hatched from the egg. And since last episode, I have trained it out of video up to level 10. Because I decided that maybe after it was level 10, that I'd be able to catch up from starting with and shift me out of battle. So it's going to be in the front of the party for most of the time, so it can train properly. And it will be even for the gym battle in this episode. Because I think that within the task in between this and the E-Critique City, I think we should be giving it enough time to catch up. It'll be doing that even in the E-Critique Gym too, because it's not like we'll be needed for ghost Pokemon. It's going to be totally useless. But anyway, we're going to take on Whitney now because we've beaten every trainer inside of that gym. We weren't able to trade Togepi off of it sadly because it didn't hatch from the egg yet. So we just got to get back around. Dang it, I missed the turn. It's like I'm driving and I don't know where I'm going. Get out of the way, lady. That would be helpful. Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Wow. She's just one of those people that does what all the popular people do. Loser. Alright, so... If you're aware of this, she has normal Pokemon, as you should know. She starts out with Clefairy, and her next Pokemon is a Milk Tank at level 21, I believe, maybe 20. And I think I'm gonna use Kalava on Clefairy because I wanna make sure that I save Flappy for her Milk Tank. I thought it was called Double Slap, not Quadruple Slap. And also in the out of video training, Kulava grew up to level 1, level 21. So it now knows Quick Attack instead of Tackle. Okay, so... The fairy has been burned. Sit quick attack so it doesn't attack me first. There we go, I got Cliff Fairy down. It's about to use Milk Tank. Am I going to switch Pokemon? Yes, I am. I'm going to switch for Togepi just so it can level up and also something you want to make sure about your Pokemon is that make sure they're always higher level than the gym leader you're about to battle and the same goes for when you battle the elite four make sure the, their levels are higher than the champions Pokemon sit thunder wave to Oh, come on, really? Don't fall for that milk tank, Flappy. She's fugly. No. This is so not cool. At least it was able to paralyze it now. But I'm pretty sure that Kulava is female. If I remember correctly. Just make sure with the Pokemon you use is female when you battle this milk tank. Is my Kulava male or female? And it's male, so it looks like we could be doomed. I 
Oh no. What am I going to do? You didn't think I'd forget, did ya? Alright, use quick attack. This no just so you know, this milk tank is a real bitch to battle. So I'll just like do what I can do it. Oh no. Togepi's the last Pokemon, but it's not ready to battle. I know what to do. First thing I'm gonna do is send out Paris. And then uses then I'm going to use my revival herb. I knew it would come in handy. It, it pisses off your Pokemon to do it, but it's totally worth it. Alright, Flappy, welcome back out. You Thunder Shock. Let's finish it. And thank you, we have defeated Whitney. Barely. Looks like we have gotten our third gym badge already in the 10th episode of Let's Play Pokemon Silver. We have gotten three gym badges so far. Three down, five to go, and then plus the championship. Oh, you made Whitney cry. It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. What a baby. Okay. We can get around through here. And we have now defeated the Goldenrod Gym Leader. I'm gonna go heal. You guys really need to be healed. You know, there's something you may notice about the anime of Pokemon in the games. It takes Ash's Pokemon forever to heal at a Pokemon Center, when it takes just seconds to do it in the game. Coincidence? I think not. Anyways, I've decided I'm going to check on the lottery numbers again. Now that it's been a whole day. Do we have a match? And yeah, no, we don't. What a bitch. I'm sorry, just every time I go to the radio tower, I have to go up the stairs. Hey, you're still here? Something wrong with the director, huh? Hey, you, you know anything? Tune in, huh? Okay. I guess I shot- I'm sorry I didn't show you guys last episode. Ben. Lucky channel, huh? What's this?
what else we got? Hey, it's Professor Oak's Pokemon Talk. Let's see what it is. Oh, Graveler may be seen around Route 45, huh? What else is going on? That's really nice, Professor Oak. What else? Yeah, I see those all the time. They're pesky, and it would be really a pain to raise one. They'd bite your fingers all the time. Arr! So that's Professor Oak's show. So I guess... That's what goes on around the radio tower. Hey. All right. Anyway, so there is also one other place I wanted to check out here before we went on to do any more crazy stuff. Because we have the coin case, we got some stuff we want to do with that fabulous coin case. Here we are at the game corner. Yeah, I got some coins. Hey, what's going on? What goes on here? You can get TMs here. And you can get Pokemon that they steal. I would love to have a Dratini on the team, but it would just take a lot of work. Team Rocket steals these Pokemon. What am I gonna bet on? I'm just gonna keep betting on that until I get something. You know I'm not gonna play again, I think you get my point. Yeah, so that's basically the game corner. Hey, buddy, move it. What's that? Is coin case in the underground? That's actually the coin case I have. Wow, what a quinky dink. Anyways, I was gonna go to that flower shop. Take this Pokemon with mail to his friend, huh? Oh, 
A weird tree block blocking the road, huh? I think I know what to do. Maybe I do know what to do. If I can just find that flower trap, maybe. I believe this is it, right? Oh, this is the bike shop. Hey, we nice to get a bike. So now I have a bike. I'm gonna, I'm gonna register it so I just have to press select when I want to use it. For now, I don't need to use it. What's this? This is the flower shop. You have plenty of water, what the hell? Someone like Whitney, a gym leader, to beat it, huh? I've already beat Whitney, maybe I can do something about it. Oh no! A Vulpix, huh? And I think after this episode I'm going to... Sorry, after this battle, I'm going to stop the episode. Yes. Oh, useful item, huh? But anyway, I'm going to check out... I'm going to see if the flower shop knows anything about a squirt bottle. Because they did ask about a squirt bottle there. Hey, you know anything about Squirt Bottle? Hmm. Now I don't think the Name Raider knows Jack about a Squirt Bottle. Do they really know anything about a squirt bottle? Do they? Do they even know anything about a squirt bottle? See? 
Look, this is what she says. Watered with a squirt bottle. Wonder if it's been cleared, huh? Well, if somebody knows something about a squirt bottle, then maybe we will find out for damn sure. But I'm gonna end the episode now, and I want to thank you guys for watching. This is Flaming Pringle. I want just want to say have a good one, and thank you for watching. Let's play Pokemon Silver. Have a good one.